Hello, welcome to our lesson on seven for this chapter. Uh, we're just going to look at some mixed trigonometric problems. And uh, actually, everything in today's lesson you could have, you could probably do. So we're just going to just we're going to do a little recap just to make sure you know what's going on. So in this situation, what would we use in order to solve for AB? Right triangle trig, law of sines, law of cosines, or Pythagorean theorem. Since this is not a right triangle, we cannot use these two things. And uh, since it's side angle side, we'll use the law of cosines. In this situation, if we want to solve for AB, we can't use Pythagorean theorem because that requires us to know two sides. And since it's a 90 degree angle, we'll use right triangle trigonometry. What that means, if I want to solve for this side, I would say this is opposite, this is adjacent, so the tangent of 40 is equal to x over 5, multiply 5 by both sides, so 5 tangent of 40 is equal to x. Now if we know three sides and we want to find an angle, the only thing that will help us with that is the law of cosines. Here, if I want to solve for AB, I have two sides, so I can just use the Pythagorean theorem, and that would give us the side AB. In this situation, if we want to find BC, let's call it X, we could set up the law of sines. Sine of 25 over X is going to be the sine of this, which we can get by uh, adding these together, subtracting from 180. So, um, what's that? 65. So is that 115? So I could say side of 115 over 8 is equal to side of 25 over x and solve it. So that would be the law of sines. Uh, in this one, if I want to find angle A, I can also use the law of sines. Sine of 40 over 8 equals sine of A over 5. So again, we're in the law of sines. So we use the law of sines when we have angle side angle or side angle angle, or else SSA or ASS, however you remember that one. And we use the law of cosines when we have side angle side and side side side. Now here is a way we can look at this. If it's side angle side and we want to find a side, we can use this formula, which is the law of cosines. If we want to find the area, we can use this formula, area equals one half AB sine C. If it's a side-side-side situation, and we want to find an angle, we can use the law of cosines. Cosine C equals C squared minus A squared minus B squared all over negative 2AB, which is just this equation solved for cosine of C. If we want to find the area in a side-side-side, we have to use Hero's formula, which is the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, where S is the semi -proof. Now, if we have uh, angle angle side or angle side angle, we want to find an angle. We want to find a side. We just use the law of sines. If we have side side angle or angle side side, and we want to find an angle, what we do is um, we use the law of sines, and it gets a little tricky because it could, there could be zero, one, or two triangles. So um, we take the inverse. We solve this, and then we take the inverse sign, and then we'd have to do 180 minus that and see uh, if 180 minus that makes sense. All right. So hopefully that review helps out, and here's your homework for tonight.